In this video, I'm testing three inexpensive and cheap combination padlocks with bolt cutters. How much security do you get for less than $4? Are they worth using to secure your stuff? For these types of locks, you are not going to lock up your expensive bicycle or motorcycle. These combination padlocks are mainly used for securing school lockers, gym lockers, cabinets, or maybe your shed. With a little time, some of these locks can be defeated by decoding the combination, but that'll take too long. Criminals want to get in and get out quickly, without drawing any attention. Most likely, criminals will use bolt cutters for these types of locks. I'm using a small 18-inch bolt cutter because it is easily concealable. Yes, shims may work also, but this new master lock is unshimmable. If you look at the locking mechanism, it has grooves in it that prevents the locking paw from sliding inward releasing the shackle if a shim is pushing down on it. If you saw a video showing someone shimming this anti-shim padlock, it's probably a fake. You can also use a hacksaw, but that'll make too much noise. I bought the first lock from Dollar Tree. I was literally laughing when I first saw this thing. Look at the thickness of the shackle. It does not say it's hardened. It's a no-name brand. I don't think it has any chance against the bolt cutters. The second lock is from Walmart. It cost about $1.50. It's also a cheap no-name lock, but from the size of it, it looks like a decent lock. The shackle is pretty thick, and it also says it's hardened. The third lock is the classic master combination lock that has been around forever. It's used by most students in high school and junior high. It has a hardened shackle. You can also get this from Walmart for less than $4. From the weight and feel of it, it appears to be the most rugged and well-made out of the three locks. Although, the no-name lock from Walmart looks like it has a thicker shackle than the master lock. I'm going to cheat a little bit by putting the bolt cutters on the ground so I can put all my weight into it to get better leverage. In reality, the locks would most likely be hanging from a locker or from a chain. Well, it did work. So here are the results. This was a brand new bolt cutter, 18 inch. And I cut the Walmart padlock first. The Walmart one appears to have a thicker shackle than the master. And the Walmart no name brand it took me a while to get through it, but it did work. I had an advantage, and I finally got through it. It was pretty tough. And this is only a $1.50 lock. The master lock, to my surprise, the shackle was not that very difficult to get through. It had a thinner shackle than the no-name brand, but the master lock appears to be made better. Fit and finish is better. I would prefer they use the thicker shackle like the no-name brand, of course. Pretty tough. And of course the dollar store, one dollar, no-name brand padlock with the really thin shackle, it went through like butter. I would definitely not 
use something like this? I would probably use Master because it's more reliable, I believe. Although the $1.50 uh, Walmart no-name brand lock would probably work as well. But as far as reliability, I'm not sure. The dollar store $1 lock, it actually stopped working and I was unable to get it open again using the combination. Definitely not something to purchase. I would probably only use these for maybe gym lockers, cabinets, but at the end, these two performed fairly well. And that's all I have for you today. Thank you very much for watching. If you liked my video, please subscribe, like, and share, and have a great day.